Hello guys, welcome to Cisco with Aman Sony and in this video we are going to set up the switch into the GNS3 and for that we'll be needing few files so I have put the names here and these are the steps so we are going to do it from scratch we do not have anything installed for this we'll be needing of course the GNS3 uh, the setup file of GNS3 so for this I'm using the latest GNS version which is uh, available at the moment and let me show you which one that is so the current gns version that we have is 2.2.11 okay so 2 to 11 we are going to use as for this video and do not worry even if you are watching this video like months or weeks from now and a new version is there so you can use the same steps and follow it okay so let's start so we are doing it from scratch we don't have anything we do not have the gns3 we, we don't have the virtual machine player or VM workstation anything at all installed in this so for this the prerequisite is we will be needing all these files the setup we have downloaded uh, the GNS3 VM files so both first and second thing uh, and the third the VM player setup so these three all three are free you can just google them and you can download it as you wish okay so uh, the link also if you want I'll pull uh, I'll put it also in the uh, Google Drive and share the link with you the fourth thing you might not find that easily on the internet the switch IOUC image file and the license for that these two I will for sure include in the description you can just click and download it so let's begin so first of all will be see we need the GNS3 and we need the virtual machine player so if you have the workstation which is the VMware workstation which is the paid one that is also fine but VM player I have used why because it is free you can just download it from the official website just google it and download so uh, let's install the GNS3 first you can if you want you can also install the VM up to you so guys in this there are many tools uh, so this is just a normal tutorial for switch integration into the GNS so we do not want uh, any additional stuff like solar putty uh, Wireshark all these stuff if you want you can just uh, select it or make it default or add more up to you next next let's wait for it to finish and after that after this one is done we'll be needing the uh, VMware player the VM virtual machine player and let me just show you okay so uh, we do not uh, need this solar putty or whatever it is we do not uh, just want to start it just now just finish close the browser so GNS3 setup is done so let's install the VM player also so I'm using this 15.56 version you can use any latest or uh, stable or any version you want but it should be VM player should be in there if you install workstation VM player will be there by default along with the extra stuff okay so VM player installation is about to start this should be much more quicker than the GNS one and let me show you uh, while it is happening you if you want GNS3 so just go in there and just put GNS3 download and it will take you to the official site just log in using or create account it's free using your uh, gmail or any other mail id and then you can go to download section there you will find two things the gns3 setup and you will find the vm for gns3 so which one we are going to be using for this tutorial for this method is vmware workstation and fusion okay so this is little big file i have already downloaded it and this is the size it is about 700 MB setup is quite small 84 MB only so just download these two from the official site and here I have just done nothing just right click 7-zip and extract here if you want you can use WinRAR WinZip anything extract it because this is what we have to play in the background in the VM player it is going to be running in the backend finish so vm player is done gns is done so let me show you the steps what we have completed we have installed the gns3 the vmware or um, not the workstation just vmware player will do we're using that and import the gns3 vm into the vm player so it's pretty simple just download it from the official site extract it and just click on it it will ask you the folder in which it want to uh, like set up the files 
see it is free if you use the workstation it will ask you for the key if you do not have the key it will allow it allow you to use it for a few days only but we don't want that we are using the free thing continue and finish it will ask you it will by default it will save in the documents virtual machine folder and G, it will create a folder for it gns3 vm so just import it wait for it to finish all those the steps are not that complex but there are a few so just do them carefully one by one and if anything at all you stumble upon anything just put in comment and i'll be able to help you uh, these are some extra tools for linux so uh, just install them it's like some extension or something it will download okay so this is done so guy let me show you uh, some quite important things here so th this gns3 vm is running in the background okay this is like you can see your vm server your backbone which will be running the switch linux image file okay so this will be the thing that will empower your switch and what is the ip 192.168.117.128 so let me just open that command prompt quickly and let me allow it ping 192.168.117.128 you can see it should ping okay see if it is not pinging then you might need to turn off your antivirus or firewall or some sort of internet security or defender or something because it have to ping 99% it should ping if not try disabling your securities okay and also just remember this ip and port number 80 we are using now we have the gns running as i've told you in all my gns videos always start the gns ad as administrator so gns3 should be start in a minute and yes this vm will be running always whenever you are using the gns and you are running the switch if you are not running the linux switch that we are setting up then you can turn this vm off and run the other router firewall and other things onto your local server okay so uh, this is the setup that we'll be needing if you're using a virtual machine which you see on many youtube videos apart from this they are using virtual machine but we are not doing that okay local computer yes we can do that it's quite good for router and other things but you cannot run the switch linux file using this one for that you can either use a virtual machine or you can use a remote server so we are going to use a remote server guys what will tell gns that this guy running on the background is our uh, is our remote server and connect to it okay and after connecting to it we will just throw the linux image file at him and tell him to run it for us uh, let me show you okay if by chance if you cancel we can call it again let me show you how you will set up the file okay so we'll go to edit preference so this is where we are skipping a step we are not adding we are not telling gns to communicate with this remote server yet let me show you what will happen if you don't do that preference ios router so here you can put your routers okay router images will run perfectly fine i even have an old one but our uh, the iou iou linux switch will come here okay so let me show you here we'll put the image the iou device image will be put here if i do new you will see that it will ask that where you want to run the iou device where you want that linux device to run it have to run either on a remote computer or on a gns3 vm as i told you local server will run ios router just fine just cancel it go to ios routers it will run it fine but for iu devices for linux image such as the switch that we want to do we need either one of them for this uh, tutorial we are using the remote computer why because i find it little easier and smooth than the gns3 vm okay so we can't see we can't do that so let's not skip the steps and let me show you where we are at this we uh, we have done the gns vm player done import gns3 vm this we have done just click it install change the host adapter yeah we have to change the host adapter on the uh, virtual machine so that it should be able to communicate okay so how it will communicate this is see one tweak you can say by default even if we if we put these credentials that communicate with this guy on port 80 it will not 
Before that, we have to go to manage virtual machine settings. And by default, you will see the adapter is using host only. We do not want it to use this one. We want it to use the VMNet one the dedicated vm net one adapter why because let me show you let's go to adapter guys and when you install the vmware it will install two dedicated adapters virtual network adapters for you vm net one and vm net eight so this is host only let's use that and let me also show you that prior to this installation it uh, was looking something like this before the installation we didn't have any adapters only my bluetooth wi-fi my real lan card but after the vm player installation you will see you will be having vm net 1 and vm net 8 so this is some basics for vm player and what we are doing uh, because i like you to tell the things i do i don't just want you to blindly follow instructions i want to let you know what you are doing why you are doing that so let's use the host only adapter Okay, uh, so let's try if it won't work, we'll restart it. Let it be like this for now. And now we just have to tell the credential, the IP and all to GNS. The dude, communicate with this guy, setup wizard, help setup wizard, the same wizard will come again. Run application on remote server so that we can run the switch image. Next. Uh, so see, we do not want to use the authentication here. Some sometimes it will throw an error, but if you want, you can use for your own security. You can try the credentials. And where are the credentials? It's right here. It's uh, the login username is GNS3, password is GNS3. But the must thing that you have to do is the IP address, which is 192.168.117.128, and you think it might be a stable or static one? No. Uh, if you uninstall, remove everything and redo the whole thing again, you will get some other IP. It's just random IP generated by the GNS3 VM machine. We have to note it down from here. That's why this thing have to running, keep running in the background. And what port it is? It is port 80. I've seen many uh, of uh, students, what they do, they change the IP. Ping is happening, everything fine, but they do not change the port. That will also cause problem. Just click on next and let me tell you beforehand it might might not happen like at the first go if it happens at first go you're uh, lucky you're having a good day if not then you should try it a few times so for us it has happened why because here we got the main server if, if for you if it won't happen just redo the whole thing restart your machine run everything as an administrator and don't lose your patience okay because it can trigger you it can really trigger you and if still if it throws some error or something just put in comment and i'll, I'll help you let's finish it so whatever remote server local server vm server whatever it is you will see here it is running and this is our this server if i fit if, if it if i close it it won't be here and helping us trigger or be the engine of our switch okay lot of things i have told you the last step change host adapter done to vmnet uh, vmnet one host only connect gns to the remote server that is the vm we have done that without it we cannot install the switch linux image the last step only to uh, the license file and the linux image so see this is not your switch license or anything guys it is just the iou license so which i have already created for you it is it is free it's no, it's nothing like i'm giving you my license or anything so these are the two things okay so in the iou uh, license there is nothing but like this key and all running okay so it, it, it is like you, you can find it on the internet i'll also share it with you and if even if you're not able to download just create one file like like this and it will work this is the bin file our real linux switch image that we want to run so copy this path go to gns and i told you already how to add the switch file edit preference iou device so here we will add the add the license key here we will add the device image file so the license first there goes the license and go to iou device new uh, the same thing let's browse it and let's call it a yeah let's call it a switch or whatever you want to call it that's it 
you do not even have to add interface or anything it will do it for you finish apply okay and you have to create in this new gns you have to create a project so let's call it demo one and here see these are the routers we didn't edit routers quite easy i have another video uh, I'll, I'll share the link for the same in the description but what we have added we have added the switch which switch not the hub not the normal or dumb layer to switch the real switch we have added here so let's call it let's connect two of them by default unlike packet tracer switches routers will be off we have to click on start and they'll be running and who who is like powering them who is being the engine behind them is this guy here okay so this have to be there in the background so guys our switches are ready to work uh, with and we have uh, the vmware and everything set up so just let me show you the cli of the switches uh, just double click on switch one switch two okay so here we have the switch cli and here guys you can do every almost every switch thing uh, for example if you want to do some spanning tree labs if you want to do uh, vlan stuff everything will be here okay so the, these are actual si proper simulation of the linux uh, with the help of the power of the vm engine and uh, also the switch too so you can have your router and everything you can add there you have two options to add either you can do it on the local server or on the same vm one that we are running in the background so the uh, this was everything i hope you liked it and just follow the steps at any point you f you face any issue just let me know and talking about issues um, i also faced one issue in the beginning uh, let me show you an error message uh, because in most of the motherboards you will find that the virtualization by default is disabled meaning you cannot run any it's not like about gns you cannot run any vm machine any virtual machine if you want to run a window linux or or a gns vm anything on the virtual machine have to share the resources of your real machine if you go to manage and the virtual machine setting you will see that it is taking two gigs of ram uh, one core hard disk space memory space everything so for that you have to go into the bios and the virtualization have to be enabled okay so in many of the motherboard by default it will be disabled so what you have to do just go in there and enable the feature for your particular motherboard okay and if it is disabled you're getting something uh, of this sort that vm amd v intel v virtualization is disabled it, 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 it even says here go to the bios firmware setting and turn it on just google on that particular motherboard model or laptop you have if still you face an issue i'm here for you just put in the comment and i'll get back to you i'll help you any way possibly i can so thank you guys thank you for watching the video the tutorial i hope the switch thing works for you in the gns and good day uh, uh, adios until next time